What's up? How are you guys today? Frankie Eyeballs is back with some day of eating reviews. New look too. <laughs> you got my hood on. Too bad it doesn't go low enough to cover my eyes. But uh, we got a bunch of different shorts uh, we're going to look at today as opposed to doing just like one full day of eating review. Starting with what I eat in a day, 2,700 calories. And when you search for these videos, there's like a lot of day of eating shorts. So I tried to pick out ones that are health oriented, you know, not just random, you know, what I eat when traveling in Korea or I ate only McDonald's for a day. Like we're specifically focusing on people that are, you know, marketing this diet in, in some type of health or nutrition sense. Hey guys, here's what I ate in a day's fair golden cutter bulks for breakfast. I had three eggs and a bowl of oats with peanut butter and honey and a bowl of mixed berries. Then I That's probably one of the better breakfasts we've seen. You know, you're having a decent quality animal based protein, even if it's not the highest quality eggs. Oats are a good carbohydrate source and berries can't really complain. Overarching thing is, you know, are you going organic? Are you going the highest quality? And in this case, you know, the difference between regular supermarket eggs versus corn and soy free pastured eggs, the difference between, you know, regular oats versus organic oats, and then the regular berries versus organic berries, and then uh, making little switches here and there, like instead of putting peanut butter, you can put macadamia nut butter. There, there's a lot of things that can be done to, take this meal from something that's kind of acceptable, okay, you know, better than what most people are doing to actual optimal healthy. I had my oatmeal cappuccino and the Chips Ahoy Ghost Whey Protein Powder for a snack. I mean, oatmeal cappuccino, most people aren't using an oat milk that only has like oats as the added ingredient. It usually has a bunch of fillers and chemicals and stabilizers, which is not good for you. And what's the worst part about some of those plant milks is they have synthetic vitamins to fortify them, which are actually really bad for your body. And most of these whey proteins, it's it's made with conventional whey. You know, we have a grass-fed whey on organsupplements.com. You want a high-quality grass-fed whey with minimal ingredients added. You know, the chemicals, the flavorings, I mean, I, I've seen them put, like, soybean powders and all types of crazy stuff as stabilizers in these protein powders. So you got to be really careful and read the ingredients. Then for lunch, I made my iconic open-faced tuna salad sandwich, and then I had a piece of chocolate. Tuna salad sandwich. Open face. I mean, tuna, mercury, all seafood is pretty. I mean, mercury is probably one of the lesser concerns of, of fatty fish. It's very, very polluted. The problem with YouTube shorts is you can't really, you can't really play them back. So I'm gonna have to go play the video back and pause it. I mean, wow, we're guessing it's tuna with a lot of mayo, some celery, maybe some avocado mixed in there, some spring onion, green onion. Hard to say. Uh, usually mayo is pretty low quality stuff. Depends on what type of oil it was made with. You know, was it made with egg yolks? So overall, not the best lunch. At least she's getting some omega-3. I guess it is protein. I guess it is high in fat. So in comparison to what people could be eating, yeah. And I don't really complain. I don't have much against bread, but same thing to the quality argument we had earlier. Are you going organic? Are you going high quality uh, with all the stuff that you're eating? Open face tuna salad sandwich, and then I had a piece of chocolate and a mochi. Then so chocolate, again, depends on the quality. Most dark chocolate isn't isn't really bad for you, but there's more recent things coming out about how it has heavy metals, caffeine isn't that great, and a lot of people don't feel good eating chocolate, so you want to be careful with it. Mochi, I think, is made with like some type of rice starch, and sometimes like bean in the middle. Uh, the problem with that would be rice can have a high arsenic content, not as much of a concern in white rice. White sugar can deplete B vitamins if that's added to this. And then, you know, what's in the filling, but probably not. I mean, if anything, they have some of the healthiest desserts, some of these Asian desserts. And for dinner, I had shrimp with Brussels sprouts and rice. Then I went out to get them. So shrimp with Brussels sprouts and rice. I have to replay it again. I mean, there's enough problems with wild caught seafood when you have stuff like shrimp that's typically farmed, bottom feeders, extremely, extremely polluted at least. It's on the leaner side, but still full of stuff I would never want to eat. Brussels sprouts, you guys know how I feel about vegetables. If, if you like the taste and you enjoy them, it's not that big of a deal to have them. White rice, again, go organic, high quality. Use, you know, filtered water. Make sure the water source you're using to make them isn't polluted, but main downside of this meal is probably the pollution in the shellfish. Uh, did she use any sort of seed oil or something to fry the shrimp in? 
And also, you know, what type of breading is on the shrimp? Could that be an issue? So sprouts and rice. Then I went out to get a McDonald's ice cream cone. and <laughs> McDonald's ice cream cone and apple pie. Do I have to really explain why that's bad for you? Or should I just suggest you go buy the, the raw ice cream made with high quality A2, A2 grass-fed dairy, uh, corn and soy-free pasture-raised egg yolks, and all organic flavorings from frankiestrangemeat.com? Apple pie, I mean. I'd have to look at the ingredient list on this. I would assume it's made with fortified flour, uh, has a bunch of iron filings, synthetic vitamins, bad stuff you don't want in your body in there. Probably fat source is soybean or something very, very low quality. It has the refined bleached white sugar that you don't want and probably a whole bunch of other chemical flavorings and additives that are very bad for you. Um, some years ago, I mean, I used to make them for the holidays. Uh, but I, I've made healthy versions of this. You know, you can make healthy versions of desserts using high-quality organic ingredients. It's just not as cheap and convenient. <laughs> but this is this stuff is really bad for cellular health. Uh, her whole day looked pretty good um, besides this. When we got to this, the I, McDonald's ice cream, McDonald's apple pie, like, it, it actually seemed like she ate pretty, pretty good, you know? But this is like throwing it out the window. Like, what are you doing? And their apple pie for dessert. Hey, guys, here's... Bro, what are you doing? Yeah, I, I don't know. That's uh, that that uh, that McDonald's call isn't so great. Yeah, I think the main thing she should be doing is increasing the amount of carbs and fiber with each meal, and uh, maybe she won't feel the inclination to cheat later. Yeah, All right, we got another healthy one. Breakfast, protein, overnight oats. I mean. Uh, the chia seed nonsense. I mean, seeds are seeds in no way are good for you. Burgers and fruits. Hey, if you enjoy them, it's okay. But this is not calorically dense at all. Uh, if, if she made protein overnight oats, where we can assume that she used probably a plant-based protein powder mixed with water. So overall, this isn't giving your body much caloric nutrition and, and the bioavailability of the nutrients in it, the proteins, the carbs, the fat, it's not that great. Uh, might, might as well be like a you might as well take a few tablespoons of fiber, to be honest. Maybe a small amount of sugar in the fruit, but it's really not significant because the sugar content of the fruit isn't high. The bioavailability of, you know, vegan protein powders isn't high. And chia seeds just go right through you. So, you know, These Hollywood trailers. you're not giving your body anything it needs. Classic like cars, classic like Elizabeth. Leftover plate plus A. So this looks okay. Potatoes, rice, she has some starch in there. Some eggs, can't complain, excellent protein source. And look, e eggs are one of the best overall sources of nutrition if they're high quality because they do have omega fatty acids in highly available forms, unlike uh, a lot of other protein sources. Broccoli and carrots, you could do without. I mean, honestly, if you just omit the vegetables from this plate, it's actually healthier for you. The only thing you're doing is stressing your body with anti-nutrients, flavonoids, carotin, things your liver has to process. I can't pronounce anything because it's like one in the morning. But actually, not that bad of a meal. At least she's not afraid of starch. Oh, well, those are actually, those might be a type of white sweet potato, which might not be the best, but. Almond milk latte. I mean, I'd never need to drink coffee. If you feel the need to drink it, like, probably missing some B vitamins or vitamin C or, or, or some nutrition in your diet. You shouldn't really need it. And outside of the quality of the water, you know, are you fluoridating yourself? Is there chlorine in the water that you're using to make it? Uh, the almond milk, same issues that we said earlier with the plant milks. They can have synthetic fortified vitamins. Not the best quality fat source, if we're being honest. And, of course, the coffee beans, again, with the quality argument, are you using organic coffee? Are you grinding it yourself? Are you making it from scratch? Probably not. Give another take Korean inspired bowl. All right, we're gonna have to replay it because we, we have to pause it. A Korean inspired bowl. I mean, that looks like chicken to me. Chicken, avocado, more sweet potatoes and rice. At least she has some starch in here, some fat. I mean, avocado to me is it's not really a super available fat to the body. It's kind of hard on digestion. Maybe that's some kimchi in there. So maybe there's some beneficial probiotics. I think with this, you would just want to go higher quality on the protein source, have some red meat or some lean fish or something. That's the main thing. And I don't really want to feel like I'm repeating myself saying you have to go organic with everything. So I'll say it one last time. If you're not going organic, 
The food contains herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, what I like to call agrochemicals that will pollute your body. If it's not organic, if it's not high quality, that, that's the main reason you need to go high quality. And then you have to be mindful of you know, other, other chemicals or flavorings or fillers in it as well, because it's not a whole food. So Halal Top ice cream, uh, the way I feel about these, you know, calorically restricting foods is if you are eating what you should, a whole foods balanced diet with, you know, fats, carbs, and proteins, all natural sources, plenty of meat, plenty of grains, some fruits, some vegetables, you can eat like really high quality ice cream made with full fat milk, egg yolks, sugar, and not gain weight and have a healthy body composition. The fact that you're eating stuff like this means your diet's restrictive and you don't have other lifestyle factors in check. I guess that's it. All this looks so amazing. No, it does not. <laughs> you need to make a cookbook, really? Maybe I should make a cookbook, holy crap. What, what, what do you need to cook? She didn't go a bunch of blanched, <laughs> blanched meat and vegetables. God help me. Let's see what this guy does. Okay. I, I hate these salt morons, dude. Sponsored by Big Salt. Look, if you can drink salt and eat salt like that, God bless you and your health because you have some healthy kidneys, dude. Like that would destroy some people's health. Uh, I will mention we do have Lemon Light on OregonSupplements.com, which, and, and honestly, you don't really need, like, most people don't really need electrolytes. You just need to have a high-quality, healthy meal. The only scenario where I think you actually need electrolytes is if you're, like, an intense athlete, if you're, if you're doing, like, intense exercise or work and you're sweating profusely for hours every day, that's the only scenario where you would need electrolytes. A normal, average person, like, you don't need to take electrolytes. And salt is not you're taking salt. You're not taking a balance of potassium, magnesium, and calcium, which is what your body needs. And on top of that, salt does not contain any significant amount of minerals outside of the sodium. Eggs, butternut squash, avocado. Eggs, butternut squash, avocado. So needs more starch, carbs. Uh, I mean, if you had like bread or omit the butternut squash, put a grain in there, this would be a pretty good meal, I think. At least he used butter. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we haven't seen the rest of what he's eating, but to have that type of physique with this low calorie amount, because there, there's not enough fat. It's not like he's having globs and globs of fat to make up for the calories. Tuna poke with avocado and cucumber. Again, hey, get rid of all those extra greens, the cucumbers, and have a big bowl of rice, and this would be a very healthy lunch. Uh, it looks tasty, though. Again, I'm not a fan of avocado since we're seeing it a lot today. It's high in flavonoids. It's high in antinutrients. I think it's also very high in salicylates, so it's not a great source of fat. You're better off having even just something like coconut oil. And cucumbers, basically empty calories. He says high T. Like, high, how's your testosterone high, buddy? You injecting yourself? Because eating this many calories of only protein, your, your liver's going to get fried and you'll have low testosterone. Black bandana, sweet Louisiana, on a in the so oy oysters, to me, fi filter, like, really, really polluted, high in metals, very bad. I, I would not touch oysters anymore. I, I really don't think it's safe for most people to eat them, but... Uh, it's conflicting because they're they're an excellent source of nutrition. They have a lot of B vitamins, a lot of minerals, omega fatty acids, hypothetically complete nutrition, offset by the fact that they're arguably the most polluted thing you can put in your body. Shellfish are very, oysters, very bad. Uh, let's see what he's making. Today. She's a and any guesses how, how how much rice is he gonna put on the plate? One, two spoonfuls of rice on the plate. Oh, okay. That's almost as much rice as I eat. 
Okay, that's not bad. And he put a decent amount of butter on it for some calories. Now, I don't be- I can't believe he actually follows this diet. It doesn't seem like the calorie amount is high enough, especially some carbs. So I'd be curious if this is what he's actually doing. Please mention also the drugs HGH guys clearly just Yeah, I mean to to be that to be that physically active and only eat those foods I I would bet on that too because this diet could use about another 300 grams of carbs. It's not enough fuel for the body. Here's what my kids eat in a day. Something a little different. We're looking at some kids. For breakfast, they're having grits bowl with beef sausage, scrambled eggs, and cheese. That looks really good. They're also having some orange juice. I mean, outside of the quality, you can't give a kid a much healthier meal. You know, a lot of protein, a lot of high quality fats. You put plenty of butter in the grits, beef, sausage, and eggs, fresh squeezed orange juice. Excellent, excellent meal. Beef sausage, scrambled eggs, and cheese. They're also having some orange juice. Uh, are we going downhill? For lunch, they're having pasta with zucchini. Bro, we started so good. Bro, we went from the best breakfast ever to vegan. To vegan soy boy kids. What happened? At least she put a little sprinkle of cheese on there for some semblance of nutrition. Honestly, if you grated like half a pound of Parmesan on this, it would be okay. If you just put a ton of cheese on it to make it basically mac and cheese, it might be passable to kid, for kids. Kids need high amounts of animal nutrition and then high amounts of dense energy sources. They need to build cells and, and grow. That's what they need. I guess you could say the pasta is an energy source, but you need you need to have high quality protein and fat in every meal for a kid. For their snacks, they're having a smoothie. All right, I didn't see what she put in that smoothie. Um, it, it didn't look like it was. Uh, it didn't look like it was like whole milk, maybe some fruits and stuff. But you know, unless she put in. Like the highest quality grass fed milk in there, you're not giving your kid enough nutrition. For dinner, they're having salsa verde chicken with rice and corn. Salsa verde chicken with rice and corn. Uh, I guess if, if it was beef or something, I wouldn't complain as much. Chicken is just not that great of a quality of protein. For dessert, they're having a slice of berry chantilly cake. So cake is actually nutritious if it's made with high quality eggs and butter, but... And that's it. I hope... a, lo a lot of the time it's not. A lot of the time, these store-bought cakes especially, it's made with like soybean oil and chemicals and flavoring, so... This could be worse. It could definitely be better. Although we started off really good. All right, last one. 242 grams of protein. I ate a mountain of food. Bulked up a lot. Oh, wait. This is uh, Tom Holland's Spider-Man diet. Meal number one. Meal number two. So e eggs on toast with strawberry. I mean, it's not very calorically dense. But what? In that movie, he was just a little muscular and shredded, right? Two protein powder. Meal number three. Hold on, he's going way too fast. So he just had protein powder. He had a protein chip smoothie. Me doesn't make any sense. He's chopping potatoes and then he has a plate of steak and rice. That doesn't make any sense. Where's the potato? Meal number three. I mean, I can't complain about steak and rice. But vegetables aren't that necessary, but you need a lot more rice in the meal. Mm. <laughs> Number four, I personally follow chest, arms, legs, back, shoulders, workout split in my summer shredding pro It looks like chicken, some chicken on potatoes. That's what it looks like. Program. Cheers. So chicken on yellow potatoes compared to something like beef and white potatoes is surprisingly from a bad meal to a good meal. 
And the reason chicken is so bad as well as conventional pork is it's very high in omega-6 inflammatory fat. Um, it's just the fatty acid profile is very poor, and chicken is typically a very, very polluted source. So you got to be careful with uh, with low-quality conventional meats outside of beef. I mean, beef still isn't that great, but it's a lot safer. Meal number five. Meal number five. Oh, I mean, this this video is like a mess. So, I mean, this this is this is so confusing. He had he put some steak on some bread, then said meal number five, and then he's he, he so he announced the meal after showing it, and now he's announcing the meal before showing it. So very confusing. But steak and bread can't meal combine. number six. Really cool. uh, salmon and rice. I mean, sa salmon is one of the most polluted fish you can have if it's farm raised salmon. So that's the potential issue. Uh, uh, can't breathe. Oh, total macros and calories: three thousand two hundred and forty-four calories, two hundred and sixty-three grams of carbs, one hundred and thirty-three grams of fat, two hundred and forty-two grams of protein. Way too much protein. I will create you a meal. Yeah, I mean, sometimes these bodybuilding bro science, like chicken and rice meals, they end up being okay if they have beef and rice. But as soon as you just start migrating towards chicken, a lot of vegetables certain carbohydrate sources it goes from you know a basic healthy meal that I, I just had i had for lunch today beef and rice healthy good fine good then chicken and yellow potatoes is is not good for for various reasons but um you know, it's, it, i mean it's kind of hard to to find anyone that has uh, an actual understanding of nutrition i think i think the best diet we saw was the first girl even with the mcdonald's in there <laughs> so go figure uh, it was nice, nice that the um, nice that the mother was cooking for her kids like that. That's very special, but should definitely give them some more animal protein. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully, you enjoyed uh, these quick day of eating reviews. Let me know if there's any uh, you'd like to see in the future. Just leave it down in the comments below. But outside of that, uh, you guys can drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell, and I'll see you guys soon.